cannot give you back your homes or restore your dead to life, but perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Hey everyone, so sooner or later we will have to deal with the fact that Game of Thrones is going to end. I mean, there's only two seasons left, and with the two seasons, there's only a total of 13 episodes. So, from that point, we hope that HBO's success from the show will turn into them making a spinoff series. I mean, there's just so much more to put on video, so many stories and background narrative that we can dig into. HBO has made millions of dollars from the show. It's even so successful that the five main actors will be making half a million dollars each episode until it's all over. So the market audience is definitely there to create another series, with new actors, a new story, and a new set of rules. The showrunners, David and Dan, stated that they haven't even considered creating another George R. R. Martin adaptation because currently Game of Thrones is a 24-7 gig, but they definitely have acknowledged the possibility in the future. Obviously, not knowing when, but assuming that a spin-off series would be very profitable for all parties, what story is most likely to be adapted for television? Well, the Duncan Egg stories are an ongoing series of novellas written by George R. R. Martin, set in the world of A Song of Ice and Fire, prequels to the main novels. Now, the stories relate to the adventures of the hedge knight Sir Duncan the Tall, who would later become a legendary member of the Kingsguard, and his squire, Egg who would become King Aegon V of Westeros. The stories begin with their meeting 89 years before the events of the main novels take place, about 13 years after the first Blackfyre Rebellion, which was a civil war that actually tore the Seven Kingdoms in half. So, in this series of stories, there is corruption, a plague, houses uniting and falling, and much more. Only three novellas have appeared so far, including The Hedge Knight, the Sworn Sword, and The Mystery Knight. Anywhere from 6 to 12 novels are planned that will cover the entire lives of these two characters. Quote, There is no telling when I will have time to finish either of these, or which one I will write first. I don't expect I will know more until I've delivered The Winds of Winter. In 2013, Martin confirmed that he had been in discussion with HBO over a possible adaptation of the Duncan Egg short stories. The HBO production team has said that it will not start any prequel series before the main series is finished, given the massive amount of work involved on it. They went on to say that they cannot produce more than 10 episodes on any Westeros-related project in a single year. Quote, There has been interest, yes, but the right situation is complicated. Film and television rights to the characters and the three published Duncan Egg stories remain with me at present. But HBO, when acquiring the rights to the Song of Ice and Fire novels, also acquired film and television rights to the world of Westeros. So, if we did Duncan Egg with anyone else, we would need to remove all the references to House Targaryen, the Iron Throne, etc. Not completely impossible, but certainly undesirable. Whereas, if HBO decided they wanted to make a Duncan Egg miniseries or TV movies, they'd first need to buy the stories. That's a much more attractive proposition for all concerned, I think. But, if it happens, it will happen years from now, not tomorrow, and not next week. So this sounds like a really good thing. George R.R. R. Martin is completely satisfied in turning more of his literature into video, and HBO is highly interested in creating the tales of Duncan Egg. We can definitely expect to see more of the world of Ice and Fire. We can also expect to see brand new actors, many of whom I bet we've never seen before due to budgeting the payroll. So definitely keep an eye out for more info as we move into the final 13 episodes of Game of Thrones. Also, while we are waiting for the seventh season, you can read George R. R. Martin's The World of Ice and Fire. The book is basically a history book that covers the evolution of Westeros and is written from the point of view of a maester from the Citadel. Now, the book is the size of a college textbook and covers things like ancient history, the reign of the dragons, history on the Seven Kingdoms, the Targaryen kings, and loads more. 
It contains a lot of added info that actually supports some of your favorite theories and is very entertaining to use it to track down bits of knowledge that you may have never thought about. So if you don't have it yet, I suggest considering adding it to your library, read it this summer. It'll be a good stepping stone while waiting for season seven. I will put a link to it in the description. Anyways, guys, I wanted to keep this video somewhat short today since I made a pretty long one yesterday. Let me know what you want to talk about next. And what shows are you guys watching now that we're in the off season? As always, thank you for your continued support. See you soon.